our electric motor division, um, um, section 15, um, troubleshooting and, um, electric and, um, motors. Engine will not shut down the engine, injector control level of the stop position. Injector link of the drum properly injected. The injector rack may be stuck with an inter, 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 incorrectly mesh for the inter, inter, injector gear. Emergency shutdown procedure. Railroad insulation. Push one of the three emergency fuel cutoff buttons. They are located on either side of the locomotive of the catwalk. The ditch of the well of the fuel. Um, tank of the one of the locomotive of the cab. The function of the, these buttons is not trained. It is not trained line. Move with the throttle hand with the controlling unit of the extreme right corner of the quadrant. Pulling out with the hand of the eve to clear the tank of the wheel. Shut down the unit of the all unit of the command double unit. Equip with the conceal of the having isolation switch with the run position. This will not shut down the other units that are isolated. With the turn off the control of the fuel pump switch on the single unit of the lead unit with the multiple unit conceal of the wheel. Stop the fuel pump. The result of the engine shut down with the fuel with the lack of fuel. Procedure will only, uh, only shut down the trailing unit that have their control of the fuel pump switch on the opposition for the unit and unit control. Shut down maybe the right catwalk, pulling the injector control level of the way of the towards the outside of the unit, holding it until the engine is completely stopped. The unit can be shut down by the left catwalk, pulling out the low oil trip button on the Governor Marine Stationary Insulation. On insulation with the emergency fuel switch so cutoff switch, the switch should be used in the emergency shutdown, otherwise, for the failing procedure for the BU. The push out of the manual shutdown put button on the top of the Governor. If so, equip the trip to the overshoot speed shut down with the manual lever on top of the camshaft, the counter weight uh, housing and engine drive. The Governor shut down cylinder control electrically with the primary control the, the location. If the Governor did not. Um, go to the field, shut off the position, override the control link to the, the, the injector control lever, the pulling of the lever out with as far as we'll go, hold it until the engine is completely stopped on the marine damage to the overspeed link of the lever to design, you know, the shut down the engine down the engine ahead of the external clutch with the stop of the engine with the provide the vessel is not in motion. No extreme emergency, the EMD of the engine can be shut down with the deliver to put you private the fuel for the opening of the suction um suction strainer. Injector pressure test is special two eight one four one Four eight seven seven and use the pressure test injector leak with the, with the insure, install with the engine pressure test injector as well as ensure the engine line fuel lines are fully charged based on the straight edge of the cross of the exhaust and the injector cam roller the injector cam roller is highly higher than the exhaust exhaust cam roller the bar the engine over the over the injector roller because of the exhaust roller plus apply the test over the tool of the injector rocker arm the injector being tested tool should be straddled with the rocker arm lower end of the tines for the under the um, rocker arm shaft at the top of the, end of the tooling of the cover with the uh, cover rock arm adjusting screw lock not Remove the retaining spring with the clevis um, spin with the screw and the injector cover control lock with the lever and the adjusting lock link. Um, place the injector rack with the fuel 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 full full fuel position. Apply one and a half drive torque with the wrench pressure to the test you apply with the 80 foot pounds of torque. Hold the um, torque at a minimum of the five seconds. If the torque is indicating the drop of the wrench must be moved to maintain the torque of the injector and is leaking and the boss pot must be replaced. If the torque remains constant for the five seconds without movement of the wrench, the injector is applicable to remove the torque wrench with the pressure tool with the, from the injector rock around with the connect. The adjusting link with the injector control level with the clevis bend and the retainer spring test all the remaining injectors. Exhaust valve timing description. Exhaust valve timing is important to ensure the correct relation of the valve operation with other events for the cylinder power cycle to check with the adjusting the exhaust valve timing is necessary to know top dead center each cylinder with the, in the tent shown in table two. It's in, it's in which with the correct gum value the value turn timing with is giving them the following procedure. Maintenance locating the top dead center. It should be the minister with the check of the position with the fly with the flywheel point of the top dead center proceeds to follow the move of the air box handle cover the number one cylinder. If necessary, bar the engine with the position number one piston below the cylinder line ports insert the brass stop bar with a minimum of one half inch of the hexagonal square preferred suitable length with the through the ports of the number one cylinder so that at the end of the bar passes the port with the opposite side of the cylinder failure five two fifteen two stop bar insert through the cylinder port note that the bar is sufficient level than the Length to prevent the reapplication of the handle of the, while the bar is in place. Recommend the flag on the end of the bar with the caution against the inadvertent rotation of the engine with the, with the bar in place. Mainly um, bar the engine slowly with the normal re re direction the rotation until the piston travels to stop the bar against the upper surface of the cylinder ports. Figure 15.3 with the caution extreme cause care with the void excessive force. Mark the position of the flywheel pointer on the flywheel. Figure 15.4. Our figure 15 4 with the limits of the position travel the market on the flywheel. The position travel the measured by the stop mark. Um, 15 5 with the second limit of the position travel the market on the flywheel. The, um, 15 3 position travel on the stop bar. Um, Manually bar the engine slowly with the opposite of the direction of normal rotation, rotation of the piston to travel to the stop of the bar against the uh, surface of the cylinder port. Make it the second position of the flywheel point over the figure 15.5 determine the number of degrees between the two marks of the flywheel. Divide with the number of the, by two of the series figure 15.6 um, for the sample of the calculation. Crankshaft of the normal direction, rotation of the exhaust. Number of the degrees determine the step of eight for the remove of the barrass for the stop bar over the engine. Ten, um, point the indicator for the 18, 180 degrees bottom dead, bottom dead center. It does not position the point of the stop of the indicator of the 180 degrees point. It will now indicate the top dead center. The number one crank pin when the engine rotates with the edge of the pointer with the zero degrees. 
All right, A is equal to the, the angle is the mark of the fly is indicated in step five. B is the mark of the fly and is indicated in step seven. And determine the number of degrees indicated in the step eight divided by two. Two hundred fourteen divided by one hundred forty-four. Seven and seventy divided by thirty-five. That's thirty-five. And the rotate thirty-five should be indicated with the hundred eighty degrees. It does not adjust the pointer indicator. Check of the exhaust timing valve. The check of the time and the play for the indicator of the rocker. The arm adjusting screw with the valve figure for fifteen seven. The valve end for the rocker arm must be in the highest portion position so that. Figure 15, step of the timing, exhaust valve, the exhaust valves are closed with the pressing indicator down with approximately one inch, uh, one um, tenth of an inch set down to zero to turn the car. crankshaft normal direction rotation of the flywheel 106 degrees ATDC down the cylinder check with the time the correct the valve bridge for the will be removed at one fourteen thousandth of an inch the timing must not be later than 110 degrees either to 140 degrees ATDC um, being checked for the in, tech, in, in time of the correct if the timing is correct proper the installation with the camshaft cam gear train it correctly time with excessive worn um, gears the timing exhaust valve the exhaust valve should be timed with the aim for the gear of the subshaft. The camshaft gear is um, trained with the play for the expansion number one or number two out of the gear for the camshaft. Each of the bank must be playing time with the camshaft. The one cylinder each of the banks needs to be timed. Cost to prevent the possible value valve damage. Remove all the loosened rocker arms. Assembly expect one of the cylinder being tilted at the time with the rocker arm. Assembly remove the hydraulic lash adjuster to be checked with the proper clearance for the valve time. Refer to the adjusting hydraulic lash adjusters. Um, Apply the dial indicator the rocker arm and the, um, the uh, adjusting screw with the figure 517 with the dumb the checking exhaust valve with the remove the dial with the bolts with the camshaft the counter wave remove the counter wave the gear with the camshaft the rotated passing with the socket the wrench with the flange bolt nuts rotate the camshaft the normal direction of the rotation of the valve bridge on which the dial indicated the result of the move the down a quarter and 14,000 of an inch turn the crankshaft the normal direction rotation with the flywheel point over the 105 um, inches the top dead center with the cylinder bolt to check with the insulation camshaft the gear counter wave with the subshaft do not tighten the bolts in time and, it's, uh, well, and at this time when the flywheel is 100 degrees at the ATDC at the um, cylinder being checked with the dial holes of the camshaft, the drive gear counter wave with the camshaft, the stab shaft, the stab subshaft should be lined with approximately lined with the each of the turning of the camshaft, the 104 to 106 degrees, the ATDC dial holes in the made up of the line up of the bolts and they should be tightened with the, the dial pin holes and do not line up with the tolerance, remove the camshaft, the counter wave the gear with the subshaft and rotate the gear 180 degrees, repeat the subshaft, remove the gear one of the tooth, replace the gear with the counter wave with the subshaft if the dial holes still do not line up, the misalignment is less than 75 to 10 thousand of an inch hole of the reamed and insulation of 5,000 uh, uh, and um, 10,000 to 15,000 oversized dial misalignment. The dial holes are greater than 75, 10,000 minutes precede to step 17. Insert the uh, 516 even 24 bolts approximately one half inch in the dial pins. Place the dials and dial, dial holes and derive the subshaft. Remove the dial pins from the pins. Move the counterweight to the subshaft. The ins, um, 11 install the dial pin. Retain for the counterweight to the subshaft. Torque and bolts of the 90 foot pounds of torque. Since 12 install the dial pins and tor bolts and torque in the 70 foot pounds of torque. 13 lock wire and mounting nuts to the bolt uh, down to the groups of three to two mounting bolts and one dial bolt. Um, the crankshaft should be not rotated with the normal direction timing check with the valve bridge with the valve being checked with the move to the corner 14,000 of an inch while the fluid oil time point of the is 104 to 106 degrees at top dead center. Repeat the operation one of the cylinder of the operate opposite dead center bank of the edge. The time where they have completed relatively position made with the uh, parts that are to be identified. The similar of the method you of the engine but the maintaining the parts are marked the number one position at the top dead center with the complete the valve time and the procedure of the remove of the counter with the gear of the subshaft plug the pole dove the draw, dial hole subshaft, the drill, the tap of the two dial, and dial hole, the three quarter in, and three quarter inch um, MV3 NF thread for the minimum diameter of 0 0.7031 inches and uh, five thousandths in minus uh, um, five thousand inch pinch diameter of seven zero seven zero nine four of an inch is sixteen ten thousandths of an inch pound uh, count sink the one sixteenth of an inch gear mount size drive the thread hex hole head uh, plugs into the holes cover and plug the cu cut plug head off the player with the painting into the counting ground plug flush with the flange face to check therefore check the um, flange outside of the height of the spot the diamond grind grind proper dimension caution if the inch, if the camshaft of the crankshaft the relation of the disturb step three apply the crank m shaft gear with the sub shaft screw with the mounting bolts rotate the engine carrying shaft the position indicated in the uh, um Figure X is the degree of the top dead center number of the one cylinder to get the crankshaft in these positions with the flywheel over the U that part of the number the are in the pointer. So remember that we went over this for the place of the straight edge check of the check of the counter weight with the screw line with the parable with the engine in the line with the engine center line with the front of the cane shaft the counter weight the rear cam shaft the counter weight the end or down top dead center number the one cylinder position number one crank pen direction of the rotation to eight one cylinder one hundred eighty degrees X is equal to one hundred eighty four. Um, 12 cylinder, 249 and a half, 16 cylinder, 105, 20 cylinder, 149 and a half. 20, remove the gear, mounting with both position, 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 piston, 
Position the gear in a counter with the subject of the counter with the down position the counter with the described line with the unpair with the engine center line and shift the gear with the counter weight line down holds are aligned and so the mounting line, line bolts of the secure with the gear with the counter shove the drill the ream the subshaft of the drill holes at 12.662 in uh, or four zero point four nine eight five inches plus or minus five thousand uh, uh, inch performance that steps eight three sixteen. All right, adjusting the hydraulic laster, adjusting the application properly, operating the laster, adjust it correctly, setting of the subsequent inspection with regular and maintenance interval for the important valve into the valve. Um, into the valve. Operation important, selective to that, defective for laster, adjusters, inspect the exhaust valve, subject to the increased stress of the lid for the ultimate failure of the problem and the damage to the, to the cylinder, to the engine. Sorry. All right, after the complete in cylinder head, the sum of the power assembly has been installed. The last adjuster must be set with the open cylinder test valve to rotate the crankshaft of the piston and the near the top of the turn with the crankshaft of the cylinder being tested. Lock the lock, loose the rocking arm, adjusting the lock nuts, turn the rocker, adjusting screw down with until the last valve, last valve with the touch of the hydraulic last um, last adjuster the plunger with the head through one thousand of an inch of the bottom, um, between the valve tip and then adjusting plunger with the turn uh, one one and a half turn. Check the valve spring with the um, valve bridge with the cylindrical seat to be sure the spring loaded against the cylinder head. The spring seat with the bridge the cylindrical spring cylinder. Electrical seat is not spring loaded against the cylinder head. The spring is electrical seat with the turn down with the rocker arm adjusting the screw until the movement is held with the turn and another one quarter turn. Um, tighten the rocker arm adjusting the screw lock now after running the engine loop of the oil. Reach operating temperature. Check with the clearance between the last adjustment and body of the body of the end of the valve stem with the position near the top of the, of the center of the end of the um, if the center less with the minimum cylinder head that should be removed. The recondition the rejection of the minimum clearance of the gauge for um, figure 519 559 with the gauge clearance of the last adjustment of the exhaust valve with the gauge for the 116 with the inch thick should not fit, um, between, fit between the last adjuster by the valve stem top to ensure the minimum clearance. All right. Um, to the injector timing gave in the hole with the provided with the injector body 1510. 159 checking the last adjuster for the valve clearance. 1510 show the timing injector rocker arm adjusting screw injector timing gauge. Loosening the lockdown of turn the rocker arm adjusting screw with until the shoulder gauge will adjust fast to the over, um, over the injector failure guide. The injector is going to be timed over the speed but that has been tripped over. It must be the first speed reset the engine crank have the bear to over the least to one revolution. Tighten the adjusting screw lock hold and adjusting the screw to the position of the screwdriver the resetting the injection and rechecking set re, um, recheck the setting. Or right, setting the injector racks. Injector racks should be did, um, set over the engine operating with the temperature of the rack set with the, uh, the engine not operating temperature set with the recheck with the operating temperature recheck with the engine temperature increase with the right bank with the length length um, rack length the left length the length 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 the injector link that can be changed. The rack setting. The injector rack with the engine file with the ins install with the applicable the injector linkage setting with the jack with the equip the with the PG EGB D10. The governor adjusts the setting jack until the pipe pointer. Um, over the governor line with the governor terminal shaft and shaft scale of the one point one and one mark. For engine the equipment the UG governor is determined the load limit the top of the governor of the maximum load position adjust the setting jack until the terminal shaft is in the fuel full 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 fuel position. The rack gauge with the with the up depth of the figure fifteen twelve is the same with the rack of the engine of the PG E G B D ten governor type governor the rack within the setting of the range mark for the gauge for the value for the rack of the gauge of depth of figure fifteen twelve is the same with the rack of the engine of the gauge of the UG eight the governor of the rack with the setting of the range mark on the gauge rack setting gauge for the eight one multiplying the gauge with the indicates of one in six one inch sixty four inches uh one sixty fourth of an inch and tolerance of the one eighth of an inch each side of the center mark with this proper scale. It's important with the proper rack, um, rack gauge with the previous model rack um, gauge with the measure for the rack length with the body injector instead of the, um, the facing the calibrating side with the correct gear gauge with the side injector with the calibrating slide with the re readily identified with the single locking locating button with the front face of the gauge for the gauge can be used in all the injectors. Our right, 1511 shows the injector rack position, the injector linkage setting, and the jack, the governor jack, and the governor jack, and another picture. Um 1512 show the injector rack gauge, um, the setting of the short end, long end, center mark of the gauge scale with the adapter there. Um, place the gauge over the injector rack holding the gear gauge firmly against the face of the calibrating side of the slide of the injector figure 13. Check with the gauge point of the point of the short end of the gauge of the scale. Outside of the setting the range with the extending out of the enough of the injector loosening the lock knob, adjusting the turning, uh, um, adjusting the nut on the uh, link of the, until the point of the long end of the scale, the reverse point of the travel until oh, when the scale setting of the range of the how, how will the adjusting now of the tightening 
in the region with the Z in the setting ring of the making the adjustments so that the setting of the back, the backlash between will be taken in the same direction. When pointing the long end of the scale, set up the point of the setting range accuracy injector gauge will be checked with the insert and master proc of the gauge body. The pointer should align with the center mark of the scale. One a revolution inspection. The following is one revolution inspection sequence chart with the power assembly check with the video usually during the made during one revolution engine crankshaft. Select the chart with the applicable the number similar the direction of the rotation engine to be inspected. Figure thirty five thirteen show the injector rack gauge the application of the injector rack and rack gauge calibration slide and the pointer note that the right hand rotation guard chart that are applicable on the right hand rotation marine engine. Start with the engine flywheel at zero degrees on the pointer of the engine that is twelve of the normal direction rotate for the chart of the right of the flywheel degree of the cylinder number then the check to be made with the column head to the follow the flywheel degrees of the lower indicate the flywheel setting required for the lower type of the engine to perform applicable inspection turbocharger indicate the flywheel setting required for the turbocharger engine to perform applicable section inspection set inject the number appearing with the column number the opposite File flywheel degree of the indicator the injector cylinder to be timed the number one ring up of the number that appearing with the column indicate the upper compress that the compression ring with the cylinder moving them with upward pass of the port for the liner and they can be inspected down the main, the number that appearing with the column indicate the compression ring of the cylinder are moving downward pass for the port for the liner and can be inspected position um, piston cooling oil pipe with the number that appearing with the column indicate the clearance between the port piston cooling oil pipe with the piston car carrier can be observed the line and gates can be used piston one piston the number that appearing with the column indicate the skirt piston with the Cylinder can be inspected through the liner ports and the liner. The number appearing with the columns indicate the piston in the cylinder is then is it near bottom dead time or the end allows the inspector inspection of the liner board the liner ports. All right, this is the eight cylinder left handed rotation one round rotation set, twelve handed ro rotation set, a sixteen handed rotation set, twenty handed rotation set, eight rot eight rotation set, marine set, twelve set, S um, marine sixteen set, marine twenty cylinder set. Interpretation of oil surface analysis. Um, this is um, firing orders for the 16, um, the 8, 12, 16 cylinder, um, 20 cylinder. Governor related, governor and governor related troubleshootings. Um, um, Turbo troubleshooting installation. Um, troubleshooting. All right, we'll we'll clip the tape there. Um, wait, let's see how many we, we can read. All right, we'll read the turbocharger. All right. Alright, turbocharger, turbocharger troubleshooting. More than 50%. Um, well, we've read the turbocharger um, piece um, in section, uh, last section. Um, that completes troubleshooting of the EMD 645 motor.